Catherine, thank you so much for being with us today and for bringing such beautiful embroidery work to show us. Well, thank you for inviting me, Cheryl. But I have to say, if you'd have told me that's what this was, I don't know if I would have believed it. I've never seen such three-dimensional embroidery work like this. You, what, what is it you call this technique? Um, we call this contemporary open work and it open. differs from traditional open work that is very flat. So all of my work here is um, layered, many uh -huh. layers within the open areas. And some of it's very tiny so we'll hope that we can get good okay. enough shots but yeah. this is the first one we wanted to show and maybe can you tell us a little about it and, um, and how you lay, how many layers are involved? Um, this one has about um, three or four layers and I open up the area and then leave some of the threads in there to um, use as the trunks for the trees. So this one meanders back and um, to a actually a scene that is stamped on vellum and it's stamped both on the front of the vellum and the back of the vellum and oh you can Lord. see through it to give you the dimension to draw the eye through mm -hmm. the scene. Oh yeah, right? I can see that light, so. those lighter colored trees, sort of like a little setting back exactly. there. Exactly. Uh -huh. and, um, and this, uh, of course, the little saying on this is just hilarious too. So, so we'll this have was to um, a, actually a little mirror compact uh -huh. with an opening in it. So I use that to make a little scene. And when you look inside, um, at, the name of it is actually Cool Waters. There are um, some little koi fish in there. Uh -huh. So in order for it to be able to be passed around a classroom um, and not be dropped, I uh, secured it to a little piece there uh -huh. and just ask people to, then they can um, not to touch the fish. Don't touch so, the fish. Yeah, and don't um, feed them either. No, exactly. And so <laughs> it's um, just a painted fish on the mirror and that gives it more dimension with the mirror behind uh -huh. it. Well, and the, the thread, you, I have to feel it because exactly. it almost looks ceramic or uh, um, some type of texture dyed exactly. paint. Exactly. It's, it's painted, yeah, and also um, it's very, very textured stitches. So uh -huh. um, when we do this kind of embroidery, we want to use uh, nice wool threads that are a little bit thicker than the um, cotton threads, oh. and then also do stitches that stand up. We had talked about French Three. knots, uh -huh. and um, we have detached buttonhole and drizzle stitch. So there's oh. a good variety of stitches that are very dimensional. Mm. I wouldn't say these would be uh, beginner projects. I would say um, you need to kind of know what you're doing first. Um, they're somewhat intermediate. Intermediate, yeah. okay. So, yeah. Another little compact. And this is a compact that is a forest. And again, there you make an open area and then you just start putting tree trunks in there. <laughs> and then um, it's really just one stitch. It's a, called a detached buttonhole. Okay. And that is what makes all the leaves on it. So the thing that makes it beautiful, you can do different seasons based uh -huh. on the colors that you make. Um, the tops of the trees. Well, and this, I guess, is my favorite. I love miniatures, whether they're oh. books or mm -hmm. uh, pictures or yeah. clothes. I love making Barbie doll clothes years oh, yes. ago. And so tell us about these three little tiny pictures. They're um, little contemporary open forests that um, there's a whole cut through five layers of very oh. stiff felt. Uh -huh. And on each piece of felt, that. you can put tree trunks either on the front of the piece of felt or on the back. So oh. when you put these all together and kind of sandwich them together, uh, you can see through the forest uh -huh. and, um, and it gets quite a bit of dimension. Okay, and the next one I love because uh, you can see through the trunks. It's totally open. It's very open, and I didn't try to hide the different layers in that piece. Um, it's open, and I did both sides that uh -huh. you can see. Um, you can actually see the layers of felt and how they are cut open and um, different layers in there. Mm. So this is a spring forest, not so many leaves, and um, and you can see more of the branches. Uh -huh. And yeah. the trunks. And the mm -hmm. trunks in there, okay. too. And okay. little yeah. books. These are your designs uh, as well. Yes. Um, same thing where um, I love books, mm -hmm. and I love the layered look. This one has the forest in it, which has layers of trees on the front and the back of the piece of linen. Um, and then on top of that is a piece of canvas that um, is supposed to look like a stucco. Uh -huh. um, this one kind of like, like a stained glass window. Oh, that's so, what I was going to ask. That looks like a stained glass window to me. Yeah, and so we just start you with... You can use them as jewelry boxes. Or yeah, keep, we call them keepsake, keepsake boxes. boxes. Yeah, you can uh -huh. put uh, your treasures in there. Okay, well, the next big question is how in the world do you do this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, I start with either a piece of felt or several pieces of felt yeah. or linen, and you can cut your openings in them, and then... I go back and I'll put the tree trunks in there and you can see one of the tree trunks is on the front and one is on the oh, back of oh, the, the piece now. of felt. Uh -huh. So right, we start even with one piece, you can have two pieces, two layers of 
forest in there. Uh -huh. So when you start adding these all together, and then it goes to four layers, six layers, as oh, many as you like. So will these pieces go together? Yes. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. background is cut differently. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I see. So I we want to have a, a meandering hills and valleys in there, uh -huh. maybe even a, a little river coming through it. Oh. So, um, so do you jot the, this all out on a? No, note, no. It, it develops as you work as you along. Work on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and then once you've gotten all your trunks in and you're pleased with the arrangement and they don't line up too too well, then what you'll do is just start putting the tops of the trees, the leaves in there. Uh -huh. So okay, and then this one. yeah, and this, this is one that's doing. just got the the leaves, the the trunks on oh. it, and the branches. Oh, I bet it's so much fun to watch it grow. Exactly, and uh -huh. then you can um, just if you want different seasons, you just change the color Colors. of the oh, of the, uh, the leaves at the top. And so once it all goes together, you have as many layers. You could have ten layers in there, and um, then What's you could the look right one through. In terms of layers, um, have you I've made? had done about fifteen. <laughs> Um, and that's very interesting. You can put a mirror behind it to multiply oh, the number would. so it really looks deep. Or uh -huh. you can leave it open like this and put it up on um, your wall. And as the light comes through, you can see the reflection of the trunks on Almost like nature. On your wall. <laughs> exactly. It's, um, so. Well, these are just truly beautiful. It, it's, I'm amazed at the time and effort and work that, that goes into these. But what beautiful pieces of work to enjoy now and leave for someone in the future. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Cheryl.